God damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I almost bought it out on the cliffs. Didn't know the reds were so handy with a sniper rifle. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? I got your six. Whoa. Watch your step near those ledges. That is a hell of a wall. Eyes on. Target spot. Engage it. Crossing that pipe. And here I get out of my Oh! Audio log begin. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. We are approximately two hours into the Chinese assault on this outpost. We are being shelled non-stop, indiscriminately. The entire base is under bombardment from the Chinese ships, and they don't care who they hit. All accounts indicate they've actually killed more of their own men than ours. They just do not seem to care about their own troops at all. At this rate, the entire mountain will be a graveyard in less than an hour, and then the Chinese will just move in and set up shop. God help us. God help America. She went straight. I'm on this one. Ah. Molly, I hope this tape gets to you. Some way, somehow. I don't have a lot of time, but you need to know what happened to me. The early reports weren't bullshit. The Chinese are here. As in, they're invading Anchorage in force, right now. This is the real deal. It makes Pearl Harbor look like an academy exercise. I've never seen so many goddamn warships. Sergeant Lowry has ordered the platoon to assemble in the mess in 15 minutes. The plan is to dig in on the cliffs and slow the Chinese advance until the civilian contractors can evacuate. And then... Then we hold the line, for as long as we can. I talked to Derny, Cielo, and Dallas, and we all agreed. Surrender is not an option. 
I never told you, but that night in Cleveland, on the Ferris wheel, that was when I fell in love with you. Goodbye, Molly. I... I'm sorry. This is Private First Class Henry Hodges, signing out. Through this next structure is the entrance to the artillery. I don't know what they got waiting for us, so we'll keep a shot. Audio log begin. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. Approximately 23 minutes ago, Chinese Communist forces set foot on Anchorage soil, despite our soldiers' best efforts to prevent that landing. As expected, the Chinese have launched a two-pronged attack, one aimed at occupying Anchorage proper, and the other at securing this base. Thanks to our entrenchment... <laughs> Casualties here on the mountain are currently minimal, but that's not going to last for long. Chinese reinforcements appear to be endless. It's just a matter of time before we're overrun. Try today, but by God, we'll give those communist sons of bitches a black eye they'll never forget. Lloyd out. there? That's it, damn Chimera tanks. Don't worry, they're well out of range. Oh. Get him! Hit!
Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I can't do this. I'm so afraid, Molly. I don't want to die. Oh, my God, I don't want to die. We held them as long as we could. I swear we did. Then Cielo asked for a magazine, and when I turned to give it to him, a shell hit, and he's gone, Molly. He was there one second, and then he wasn't. His blood and, and bits of him. Oh, my God, he's all over me. Please, 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 let them leave. Let them leave. Let them leave. I just want to come home. I just want to be with you again. I'm hiding now. The Chinese are everywhere. I'm a coward. I'm a coward, I know, but I don't care. If they find me, I'm surrendering. <laughs> Anymore, where this came from. Front down here. He's got 
guns are pounding on our guys. Let's take them out. Damn fine work you did taking out those guns. Damn fine. No need to thank me. I know a genuine, true-blooded soldier when I see one. And that's why I sent you. Unfortunately, while you were up there climbing mountains, we were down here getting our butts kicked. The Chinese decided to use our field HQ for target practice and damn near blew us all to pieces. We lost some good men including my strike team commander, Colonel Patterson. Damn red bastards. Can't wait to push them all the way back to Beijing. But I didn't call you down here for a pep talk and cigars. You've earned yourself a field promotion, soldier. From this moment on, you're in charge of Patterson's strike team. There are three hardened targets that stand between us and the Chinese headquarters. That's where your strike team comes in. Follow me over to the situation map and I'll bring you up to speed. Okay, pay attention, soldier. I'm only gonna go through this once. We've set up our new field HQ down here. The area is pretty secure now that the artillery guns are gone. The first of the three targets we need to handle is their Chimera Depot over here. Be careful on your approach. You're gonna have to get through the enemy camp on the way. Once you breach the perimeter of the depot, you need to take out both of the main fuel tanks. Your second target is all the way over here. The Chinese have set up a listening post set into the side of Callaway Ridge. There are some abandoned mines along the route, so keep your eyes and ears open. It's a great place for an ambush. You need to clear the place of personnel, so we can get our intelligence boys in there to start decoding. Once the first two targets are down, the last obstacle standing in the way is their damn pulse field. You need to cross it, then cause it to overload so we can mop up the place with the T-51Bs. Let me warn you now, unless you have some sort of a death wish, 
I wouldn't even go near the field until the first two targets are down. Lieutenant Morgan will be your eyes and ears for Operation Anchorage, so get everything else you need from him. Uncle Sam's invested a lot of money turning you into a killing machine. Time to pay him back. Dismissed! Lieutenant Thomas Morgan, Intelligence and Logistics at your service. So, you're in charge of Patterson's Suicide Squad, huh? Do I really have to answer that? You aren't going after civilian targets, you know. This is the big leagues. Anyway, I'm here to give you a hand with intelligence and logistics. Whatever you need, I'm your guy. Don't worry about it. Sergeant Montgomery will be your squad commander, and he knows all the ins and outs of the team. If you need anything, like reinforcements or status reports, just speak to him. So, what else can I do for you before you hit the field? Okay, that's what I'm here for. Uncle Sam's made it really easy for you. All you have to do is use Patterson's terminal here in the command tent. Use the recruitment markers I gave you and choose your team members any way you see fit. Then head outside to the barracks and your units will be ready to go. No way. The bigger your strike team, the bigger your footprint on all the Chinese sensing devices. You need to think small. The recruitment markers I gave you will recommend what size you keep your team in order to maintain the smallest footprint possible. So to put it simply, you pick a big clunky robot and you won't have much room left in the team for many other units. You decide. You can always speak to your strike team squad leader and requisition a new unit if you've lost one. Okay, whatever you need. That's my specialty. What target did you need a report on? You've got two fuel tanks to destroy. One in the central courtyard of the facility and one near the rear gate. This place is one tough nut to crack. Not only do you have the chimeras to contend with, but the place is heavily populated by infantry. Oh, this place is a honeypot, let me tell you. Not only is it swarming with regular ground troops, but they've put their best guys in there as well, the Crimson Dragoons. I hear those guys start training as soldiers right from the womb. So watch yourself in there. The problem out there isn't the field itself. I mean, you wouldn't be foolish enough to drag robots out there with you. The place is crawling with their stealth units, the Crimson Dragoons. If you spot something out of the corner of your eye, shoot first and ask questions later, or it's the last thing you'll ever see. Okay, whatever you need. Can do. Just use the requisition terminal here in the command tent. Pick whatever loadout you need, and the terminal will dispense a requisition tape. Bring it to the quartermaster officer and you're all set. The government sure loves its paperwork, doesn't it? Sure. What did you need to know? Yes? Put simply, it's a co-opted mining rig that's been changed into an armored vehicle. Bigger and tougher than any tank we have in our arsenal. The Chinese fitted the vehicle with multiple weapons, reinforced the armor, and outfitted them for long range. Take the explosive charges I gave you and locate both of the fuel tanks. Just stick them on and boom! Couldn't be easier. I wouldn't stand too close to admire your handiwork, though. The fireball will likely take your head off. Well, I don't know about you, but if I was running across the main battlefield, I'd like a few less of those monstrosities shooting at me. Take out the depot, and they have nowhere to rearm and refuel their armor. Otherwise, they'll blast your team to bits. Absolutely. Go on. Basically, you need to clear it of all personnel and make it safe for occupation by our troops. It's a little bit of a rat hunt, though, since you'll have to poke around inside the facility and root them out one by one. The Chinese have a team of commandos they call their Crimson Dragoons. They're pretty much the best soldiers they've got. That listening post is filled with those units. I'd be extra careful in there if I were you. They aren't about to give that place up lightly. Well, the Chinese army not only uses the listening post to spot our forces and relay battle information, they also use it for air traffic control. If we can get a hold of that facility, 
we can stop them from bombing the living hell out of us any chance they get. Absolutely. What did you need to know? Well, it generates a grid-based, localized electromagnetic pulse. Anything mechanical that goes through there gets all its circuits fried. The only thing that can punch through their defenses there are the T-51Bs, so you can see the problem. There's a bunker the Chinese have set up to monitor the area somewhere beyond the emitters. An operator in the bunker can deactivate the field to allow their own guys to pass through unharmed. If you can get to the bunker, you could set the field to overload and blow it out permanently. Yep, if you take down the pulse field, we'll send the T-51B shock troops in to blast through their defenses. And then, it's on to the headquarters. Absolutely. Okay, whatever you need. Better dead than red, right?